Okay. Let's give this another go. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? Oh. I'll give you stars. Stars! Uh oh. Oh no. What do you mean in my work? We're stuck. Oh, shit, let me throw! That ain't working, damn it! Ow. <coughs> oh shit. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? I'll give you stars. This might work. Didn't it? it didn't do anything. Nothing happened. <laughs> Let me in. Uh. Butt shot. Missed ammo in that one room. That kind of sucks. Carlos, do you copy? Carlos. Oh, shit. Oh, I need to find another way out. Seek a way out. Hold on. I'm almost tempted to do that part over again just so I can get the ammo. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. Map of the area. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. They really do have another pouch by now. <laughs> because we certainly don't have any. Inventory space. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry for that. I could have moved over a little bit. I know. Ooh, a hip pouch. I would like to get in there, please. Oh, what was that? Sewer gators. Personnel control, uh... Specially made battery pack. Oh, don't want to budge. Looks like it needs a power source. Uh, we're gonna have to go down in the water. Anything over here? The goop.
Now hold on. This is red. Ah, there we go. Missed a grenade. Two paths. Office and then a whole bunch of shit over here. I assume the office is probably like a probably dead end, but let's go there first. Oh my god! Holy shit! What is that? Oh my, what the fuck am I looking at? Exactly. <laughs> okay. That was a thing. Research assistance log. <coughs> Excuse me. Gamma was released from the tank for the first time. Movement sluggish. Combat potential low. Experimental with additional hormones and drugs. Well, yes, it bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. The specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Oh my god. It swallows whole. Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma Research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlisle is more committed than ever to perfect the Gamma line. Two weeks since, uh, yeah, the pH is going down. Two weeks since re relocating to the sewers, increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality. The specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamma quickly learned the layout of the sewers. Within two days, we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us. Oh, okay. But I have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. I'm going to assume that they are uncontrollable now. Oh, PH went up. We were lucky to secure the space by bribing the sewers department chief. But it's beginning to feel cramped due to Gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. So they were just like living in the sewers? Like the people working on this project? A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gamma's probably <laughs> eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. They are fucking insane. Kendo! Need launcher. Made special arrangements for the piece to ensure compatibility with already. Uh... And right note. This tells you how to use a grenade launcher, which is right here. We don't have space for it. But we will not be using that for a while, probably. So let's pick it up. Put it in here. And save. Explosive B. Oh my god, that was weird. A bunch of things just prompted up at once. Combine with an explosive A to create flame rounds, or combine with another B to create acid rounds. So they function a little different than how they, uh. Or did they function different? Or were they just called something different in RE2? I don't know. So this wasn't a dead end. So, it's time we're going this way. Oh, 
Oh, hello. stay down <coughs> I actually need to go get more ammo so Let's keep out all the shotgun shells. <clears throat> probably making a mistake not bringing a red herb with me because I'm probably going to come across a green. But until I get that other hit pouch, I don't know. Not really feeling it. Oh, nope. Go down. Okay, I think I might have figured them out. I think you're supposed to let them kind of lunge at you and then back up. Could be wrong. Well, let's check out the lab first. Anything in here? Battery pack. Oh my god, it takes up two spots. Are you shitting me? <coughs> A love letter? As we fled here together, I think myself, thinking back to the day you hatched. Oh, he's talking about the things. <coughs> Excuse me. Voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power and of course the paresis and set appetite. The Hunter series. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you're unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't you ever heard of a have you ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. 
will prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Character flaws! Yeah, exactly. Well, damn. I'm gonna have to come back, because I don't have room. Oh, wait a minute. I think I can destroy this now? <coughs> I don't know <coughs> if destroy is the proper word. But there's a trash can next to it, so I assume that we're done with it. How like in already do it had a check mark. Hmm. Oh, there's a green herb here. Shit. Uh, um. I should have just picked it up and used it. Before. Um. Actually, wait a minute. This must be a dead end, right? I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, ah! I didn't see you. I actually didn't even go that way. Well, while we're here, I'm gonna be a little cheap and go save again. I'm not going to bother, really, with the rounds. Yeah, okay. So that way?
Oh. I can get these. Ah, shit. No, I don't. <coughs> no, I don't have room for the herb. Fuck. We'll come back, I guess. Jump powder. Don't have room. Just a note. It happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things. Just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cop said he'd probably skip town, but I said no way. Not with his baby coming any day, but did they listen? Nope. Cop said he probably just swallowed. You saw him, he swallowed by a giant fish. You're like, nah, he skipped down. <laughs> God. This is bullshit. Effing puke breathing toad faced motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. And it's not like I can count on the effing cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows his face, I'm gonna hit it right in his big ugly mouth. No room. Well then. Oh wait, there's shotgun shells? I completely didn't see. Did I get him? Yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. You leave the note? Well, once again, I don't have any space. Ugh. I hate having to do this. Like, I hate having to keep riding back and forth because it's probably not enjoyable to watch, but I really don't have another choice. I just don't have the inventory space. So store those for now, I guess. Okay. One more time. Should have probably brought a red herb so I could combine and make a full heal, but I don't know. Get the gunpowder. We don't have any regular handgun ammo. Definitely gonna need to make some of that. Okay. We got that and that. Finally. We can progress.
Oh, hello. Oh, I meant to use my shotgun. Oh. Oh, my shotgun wasn't coming out for some reason. Ah, reload! No! Oh, no. Scheiße. Is it going to make me go back and get the... Oh, my God. See, I was tempted to go back <laughs> and save before progressing. Uh. Well, shit, you know what? Even at full health, I don't think it really matters whether or not... Uh... We had the herb with us. Red herb for the full heal. And I don't think the secondary items break you out of it at all. I could be wrong, but yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That sucks. So... What I'm going to do is right, get out. Build the first one that is like this way. And then if I survive it, go back and get the stuff. Oh, okay. Wasn't. Okay. Got one. One more time with feeling. But while we go all the way back here, let's see, what can we discuss? The fish. The fish monsters are called gammas. For some reason they thought that giant fish were a good idea to make. It looks like they turn and start eating everyone. As it... It's usually how it goes, you know? You give something a bunch of... crazy power, mutate it some, and they tend to... turn around and eat you. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, right? I'm trying to say words, so you all don't just leave. I mean, yeah, I could edit this, but I've been doing so much editing. I need a break. I really do. And not, you know, I'm not sure if anyone's ever even going to watch this on YouTube. So kind of like, so I really want to put too much effort into it. I mean, if you are watching on YouTube, whenever this goes up on YouTube, definitely let me know in the comments. I uh, will absolutely read them. Um, I would really appreciate it. You know, that'd be cool. This is live streaming, of course. I'm not... Doing simple less play. Well, I say simple less play. This is. Uh, uh oh. Did something just happen? The stream? No, I guess not. But yeah. Like, if this was a less play, it would be a. Uh, cuts constantly. Like, I do my uh, Pokemon. Emerald Nuzlocke. Like 90% of that is cut. Because <laughs> most of it's not anything anyone has interest in seeing. You want to see the actual, uh, <clears throat> like gym battles and all that, so. Also, hello, Charm. How's it going? Meow. Meow. 
Oh, you're first, but you're also not first. the sewers run away from giant fish fish that will swallow us literally whole hello Schrodinger how's it going Your magic cat. Also, I've been coughing like nonstop. I'm not even sick anymore, really. I mean, I kind of am, but actually, I'm not sick. What am I talking about? I just can't stop coughing these last few days. I know that's probably like, well, if you're coughing a lot, then you're sick. But I'm not. I'm definitely not. I was about a week ago, though. Just a circle around. Yeah. Battery pack. Hold on. Do I need to keep this? Oh. Yeah? Okay, I guess I'm not done with the battery pack. Good thing I didn't progress too far without getting that. Might need some cough syrup or honey lemon. Yeah, I have, um... Uh, I need to reach. <coughs> um... Some honey halls. These are pretty good. I only have like two of them now, but whoosh. Grow. Also, hello, Fox. How's it going? Just be R2 Leon A. Player B, still need to do the other two, but it was fun. Ending of OGs, really. Ending's not, like, super different, is it? Oh, also, we're playing part three, in case you can't... You probably know, but... I did not do Ari the DLC that I said I was going to do. Yet, I'm going to do that eventually, but I kind of wanted to start off the stream of RE3, and but probably going to end the stream of RE3 because it's very late, quite late. Y'all work as a team and Birkin. I kind of remember that. I feel like I remember that sort of the ending, like the that ending. Um, scary room. Bought so far on the RE Free remake. Um, despite it possibly being short, as we've already kind of discussed, I'm not like you said about how long it takes, and yeah. But regardless, let's forget about length of the game. I already like this better than RE Two. Like, within, like, the first half hour. 
I was like, yeah, I like this more than the RE2 remake. Was there nothing else we needed in here? Oh no, it's just a hip pouch. We can find it if I really needed it. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, Nemesis is pretty annoying in this. Um, I think he's on screen at least so far at kind of sc scripted events. So, like, while he's on screen, he's incredibly annoying, but he's not, like, continuously on your ass like Mr. X. But that could change. I don't know. I don't remember. For one, I don't know how different his, like, how it is compared to the OG version. And I also don't really remember the original version. It's been a long time since I played that. Um... Ooh, I need to go... Oh yeah, you can like dodge zombies in this. Which I was a little... At first, I was confused because like this... This like flashing animation popped up on screen. I was like, what the hell's going on? But you can full on kind of like run past a zone. Well, you kind of can. They still grab you pretty harshly, but. I went the wrong way. Damn it. Still not a fan of the map. Honestly, I feel like this map is worse than. E <laughs> this is worse than even RE2's map. And I had the key. Probably won't catch it. Oh yeah, I know the R. Oh no, go up, go up, go up. Go up. RE4 remake is, from what I've heard, extremely good. It fixed any issues that kind of came with the RE2 and RE3 remake. But at the same time, uh, I don't really fault them too much because they're kind of transferring from what was already there. Hold on. Um. Well, all, RE4, they didn't have to do much. I mean, the game was already pretty perfect as is. And again, RE4 was is third person. Like, you're not, you know, you're not changing a whole new, uh... You're not redoing the entire control scheme and like the layout of the game for the most part. RE4 was already kind of done and dealt with. Something... I don't know if it's just... I'm. I can't tell if it's just in my head or not, but I feel like Jill 
is more to the left of the screen. While Leon and Claire felt a little more center. Which, I'm not complaining. I think being on the left of the screen, if you're, you know, if your player is right-handed, looks way better. I don't think, like, dead center is good at all. <laughs> dead center is very awkward when you're playing games, I feel like, from a third-person point of view. But Jill's definitely... I feel like Jill's definitely farther to the left on the screen than Leon and Claire was in RE2. Here. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot you can kind of remove the tank controls. I, for some reason, I don't remember the game at all not having tank controls. But apparently, that's an option. I don't know. I Like I said, I think they should remake Code Veronica, but it probably won't happen. I don't think they should do 5. 5 is too new. 5 looks too good as well. And also, what would you even do? Like how would you remake 5? I mean, you would probably give it the RE4 treatment. But the problem is, for one, kind of the base story gameplay in that game was kind of shit. And also, if they remake it, if they remake 5, they would have to make it pretty much solo, like one player. They couldn't, they couldn't do co-op anymore, or force co-op. Because you're essentially kind of in a forced co-op if you one player that game. The Shiv is always with you. They would have to make it essentially a one-player game if they remake it. They can have an option to have it co-op, but they also have to have an option to make it one-player without uh, having to rely on Sheva's AI if you're going solo in the game. That or completely make Sheva's AI not terrible, which they can do. I mean... You could fix bad AI, <laughs> even though they never really did, despite that game being re-released like five times in different versions and stuff. Okay, time to save. Yeah, RE5 mainly took place during the day. You know what? You're completely right. That game, there's not a whole lot of, like, nighttime environments in RE5. You're in dark areas, off, like, sometimes. Like, you're in the caves and all that. But that game is pretty much always daytime. Oh, wait, well, the section on the boat where you're fighting, uh... What's his name? I don't know the guy's name. The crazy guy. Uh, that took place at night, but... That's it, really, I think. And I think one part on one of the uh, things you do on the boat, like the mini boat, I think takes place at night, but... Yeah. Nine. Oh, God. It's crazy to think that they're... Is probably going to be a nine at some point.
Yeah, I don't remember his name either. He was the guy that... He was like... I don't know. Can't explain. He was like always laughing and shit. He was definitely like a crazy guy. And he injected the Ouroboros. And he was like, woo! woo do doo It's the one where you have to shoot the... Like, you have to get in the... The seats. And shoot the cannons at the thing. That's the only way you could damage the boss. Oh, and wait, at the end of the game, you're on, you're, it's night time at the end of the game. I forgot. Well, towards the end of the game, when you get on the big, uh, cargo ship, that's at night. Because that's when you fight Excella, I think. Yeah, that's at night. But it's also very lit up, because there's lights everywhere, it's not super dark. That's also that really stupid uh puzzle with the with the crate where you have to like drop the crate or something like that. You have to drop the crate on the on Sheva and then when you drop it dogs appear. I I'm kind of blanking out on that, but <laughs> Mm. 